I'd like to ask a couple couple follow so people can go in Miami and then San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, Vegas, and New York. Where, yeah. where are the next cities coming? Yeah, so we, our goal is to be in the top 20 metros by the end of next year uh, in the US. The next ones that are high up on our list are um, Austin uh, in, in, in Texas, uh, Boston, Chicago, Seattle, um, and I believe there are a couple of other cities in Texas that we're uh, speaking with imaging partners for to, to launch, such as uh, uh, Houston uh, and maybe Dallas. Great. Cooper Clinic is very big in um, in Dallas area where people have executive physicals, advanced physicals, and suddenly now you're bringing things down to the masses so you don't have to go to, you know, a, a $4,000 out of pocket, only partially covered by insurance to get a more significant view of the body. Exactly. Exactly. And we think that AI can help drive the cost down of these exams so that we can ultimately offer this and a $500 full body MRI that mm -hmm. um, one is affordable to more people, but two, at that price point, it becomes interesting for payers to start reimbursing it. And that's how we get to uh, screen everyone um, at, at risk. Okay. Of I didn't catch it. Is the 500 full body with AI in market now, or is that the next level of the product? That's the next, yeah, that's the next product. The So we launched with a 60 minute $2,000 product, and then we uh, we just had an FDA cleared AI come out a couple of weeks ago that enabled us to launch a 30 minute uh, 1350 uh, product. And then within probably about two years, uh, we're going to be able to launch a 15 minute um, uh, uh, $500 uh, full body work. So right now it's 30 minutes with AI for about 1300 bucks, which you just said? Yep. Yep. Exactly. 1300 US. Ah. Yep. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about you. Now let's, um, we've talked about the product and what people can do, how they can take advantage of it. And I'm, I'm very excited about what your company is doing personally, because losing my dad when he was young, I had a sister, early detection. You know, she's been a, a breast cancer survivor now for a decade, you know, so that's all good. And so I'm a big fan of early detection. As long as you're not a hypochondriac and you're just going out and just spending money around for for tests and vitamins and a bunch of unproven things. Um, but I, so I'm a big personal fan of, of what you're doing.